for this program, you're once again going to practice using functions. You're going to be creating both void and return functions and deciding when they need parameters and what those parameters are. You're also going to be practicing your function calls. So remember, a void function call is looks different than a return function call. And then you're going to be passing in param uh, arguments for the parameters. So we're going to start with a program where everything is in one function, one function like you did before. Let's run this and just see what it looks like. So we've got a welcome message. You're going to enter a cost and choose your type of shipping. I will tell you the shipping cost in total. So how much did you spend on this package? Let's say that I spent $23.12. So now it's going to ask me the type of shipping, standard or two-day. So I'm just going to do standard. And it tells me the $23.12, the shipping is $5.99, and my total $29.11. So this is the basic program, and you're going to just divide it up into functions. Some will be void, some will be returned, some will use parameters, some won't. So if we take a look at one that could be finished, remember I'm going to be using global constants, and then these are the different functions I use. So you don't have to use these five, but these are the ones I use. So you're going to decide which ones of these are void and which ones actually return something. And just remember something like this is a return function call and something like this or this is a void function call. So void function calls they stand alone and return function calls have to be part of something. Okay. So I've got kind of a mix in here when you run it it should do the exact same thing. So there's the intro I'm going to spend twelve dollars and four cents this time let's do two day shipping now once you get this far, what I want you to do is add in a loop into your main so that it's going to be repeating so I can enter another cost and another shipping and I can just keep going for as many packages as I have. And then for an extra challenge, throw in a total of totals, so basically a final or grand total. So if I do several different packages, I will find out how much I'm spending overall. You can even throw in another function if you're going to do the challenge, just you know, to make it all look nice and neat. I've collapsed my main so you can't see the loop, but it is going to work in there. And let's just run the program. You can kind of see some output right there. I'm going to run it again for you. And I've got the intro going. And let's just spend $1.25. And standard shipping. Now, now I've got my loop going. Do I want to enter another package? Let's do another package. And let's spend $45.40 and do two day. And it's got my cost right there. And then I'm not going to do any more packages. And it's got my, my total. And thanks, goodbye. So for this program, you're going to divide it up into several functions. You're going to add a loop. And maybe in if, if you're up to the challenge, you're going to add in a final total, get everything to work correctly, and you're ready to turn it in.